birthday cakes are much more of like a mom and a grandma and friends thing. They're supposed to be like rustic and imperfect. The sort of funny story is nobody ever makes me one. It's actually not that funny because I never get a birthday cake. I don't like baking. I, I just don't, I'm not good at it. As a kid, there was only one birthday cake that I liked. It was from Carvel. It had to be an ice cream cake and it had to be store-bought. It's a shame because my mother was a great baker who could have probably made me some wonderful cakes, but I only wanted store-bought cake. My brother Jay and I are only about eight days apart. So when we were little, my mom used to throw one giant party and I would invite my friends and he would invite his friends. But there was always one thing that she made sure of and it was that I got my pink, pretty, princess cake and my brother got his boy cake, whatever it was. Well, Deb and Jaden, I agree with you. I think that if someone's gonna have a birthday, especially if it's your kids or a good friend, you should make them a homemade birthday cake. Why not? Um, the, the sort of funny story is nobody ever makes me one. It's actually not that funny because I never get a birthday cake. Uh, when I wrote my first book, the cake that everybody commented about was the coconut cake because I said, this is the cake that I would like for my birthday every year and I'm hoping someone would make it for me. Of course, it's been about 10 years since I wrote that book and not one person has made me that coconut cake yet. David, I will make you a coconut cake for your birthday next time. Though, I don't think mine's gonna turn out as great looking as the one that you have in your book. The cake's actually quite easy to make. It's two layers of sponge cake with coconut filling, coconut custard inside. And the great thing about it is you can make it in advance and then when you're ready to serve it, all you do is you ice it with whipped cream and then cover it with toasted coconut. I like the idea of toasted coconut all around the outside of the cake because it hides a lot of the imperfections. I love whipped cream frostings and it's something that you rarely see at bakeries because whipped cream isn't really shelf stable. So it's just another way that you're conveying that this is homemade and rustic. As an adult, I'm fanatical about homemade birthday cakes though. I don't care if you are two years old or 42 or 92, if you've made it through another year, I believe that you deserve a towering, stacked, tiered, swirly, frosted, filled, colorful cake with your name written on it. I know Deb is sort of the master of the high, the mile high cake. Um, I'm sort of content with two layers just because that's kind of my limit. One time I did try to make a four layer cake and it was all wonky, it was kind of crooked and before I, we could serve it, it fell over. <laughs> it's true, I do like making those sky high cakes. I can't help it, it's a height thing. However, the cake that I'm talking about today is actually a two layer cake. My best birthday cake is a yellow cake with a chocolate sour cream frosting. And I just consider this the ultimate American birthday cake. For each layer, whether you wanna make it two or three layers, it's just a stick of butter, a cup of sugar, a cup of buttermilk, a teaspoon of vanilla. It's a lot of one, 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 ones across the board so you can commit it to memory. And whenever you need to make a birthday cake, you've got it on hand. Oh my gosh, I'm going to admit that I don't like baking. I I just don't, I'm not good at it. I don't like measuring, so I therefore I don't bake very much. But I wanted to do this video because I wanted to find a recipe that was easy enough that for someone like me, and it still be very elegant that I could serve it as a birthday cake. Ina Garten's Strawberry Country Cake makes two of these cakes, and it's the cake, it's freshly whipped cream and fresh strawberries. And I love this cake, it's because it's rustic, which, you know, for me, I can be very sloppy on it and it doesn't have to be absolutely beautiful, perfect. Now, Jaden, you say you can't bake, but that strawberry cake sounds really good. Jaden, I am so glad you got over your fear of baking birthday cakes. I am so bummed that you think that it is just for the realm of crazy bakers like David and I who do insane things. Because I think that's exactly it, that people think that it's it's for professional bakers when, when truly like birthday cakes are much more of like a mom and a grandma and friends thing. And I hate the thought of any of my friends going through their birthday with just a store-bought cake, even if it came from a good bakery. It's not the same as being homemade. I'll show you how to make these recipes and more at goodbite.com.